Hello, welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. Uh, here to tell us about some proposed legislation in Sacramento is Senator Gloria Negretti McLeod. She represents the 32nd District. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for inviting me again. Now, one uh, piece of legislation that you're interested in has to do with helping foster kids go through the process in their education, making it a little easier for them to yeah. make transitions. Mm, that's Bill uh, SB 7. 578, which allows foster youth, because you know they often get moved from place to place, that they're, that the courses that they've taken, completed and partial, follows them to the next site wherever they move to. I think a lot of people would be surprised that this isn't already happening. Well, sometimes in the bureaucracy, uh, children's um, uh, curriculum doesn't follow them there. Their credits don't follow them. And we want to ensure that, that they follow them and so that they are able to graduate with their peers. Why does it happen that the curriculum doesn't follow them? Well, sometimes, uh, let's say uh, uh, foster youth is in this, in this jurisdiction mm -hmm. and they, they take classes and then something gets caught up in the bureaucracy and it doesn't quite follow them in a timely manner. They go to another high school and they have to start that same class over again. Even though they've completed a class over here mm -hmm. or they have partial credit, we just want to ensure that all the credit follows them so that they stay in a timely manner to graduate. Yeah, and sometimes through no fault of their own, they Absolutely. have to move during Absolutely. a semester Absolutely. and that can uh, set mm -hmm. them behind. Uh, you're also working on some legislation that has to do with cemetery services. Tell us about that. Well, this bill has already gone through the committee, passed out of mm -hmm. committee. It's that if a funeral uh, mortuary has a, a online site, that they must include the cost of everything and that, that pertains to a funeral casket prices, all that. You know, oftentimes when someone dies, you're not in the, in the mindset to take care of all that. So if you have it ahead of time and you can look at it on, on, online, then, then it should be there. Now, this does not say that, that a mortuary who does not have an on-site uh, website, that they have to do put one on there. That doesn't say that. Only if you already have a website that you include the cost of everything on site. So on the, the hope of this is so that consumers can comparative shop? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know about you, but I know when my mother purchased, when she passed away, she already had purchased everything, but there were still things that we had to purchase. And it's not the best time to, to be shopping for something. So I think when it's online already, then people can can comparatively shop. Yeah, you could get an idea of what the what market cost, mm -hmm. prices are. And, and again, like that. we're not forcing anybody to put it online if you don't have a site. It's only if you have a site. Okay. Uh, what if you have an ad in the telephone book? <laughs> Yeah. Well, it doesn't cover that. It's just on, <laughs> on, on the websites. Okay. Uh, what's keeping you busiest in Sacramento? Well, well of course, you know the, the budget. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, in your day-to-day, -day, what, well, what are you doing? Well, you know, we have, we have fulfilled our Prop 25 that we had to have an on-time budget. Mm -hmm. We've already done that. We did the cuts, $14 billion. They've been sent to the governor. So whether he chooses to sign it or not, we have fulfilled our Prop 25 requirements that we have done the cuts and we have put it on there. Mm -hmm. Of course that doesn't do anything about the June budget. Right, so the, the cuts have been made but now it is a matter of whether you're going to be able to increase the revenue by raising taxes or maintaining some of the to main, We're not raising taxes, the we're maintaining the previous taxes. taxes. It's yes. uh, kind of a matter yes. of semantics. Yes. But what are your options uh, short of uh, the four Republicans coming forward and agreeing with that? Well then maybe we look at an all cut budget would, would really impact you know, education, public safety, everything else that goes on with the state. All right. We're always pleased when you're here to share this information with us. Uh, thank you for having thank me. Thank you very much. And thank you for tuning in. More HLN coming up right after this.